put the team on my back I do it all for the family Everyone think they can rap Nobody ever gon' challenge me Starting my week on a Sunday They think they can make it in one day I just been ready to take off Waiting my turn on the runway Never be turning around Never be turning around Ay. Never be slowing it down Never be slowing it down Ay. Vertical jump is a measurement of how high a player can jump from a standing position. The average vertical jump for an NBA player is about 28 inches when attempting to go above the rim. Basketball is a game dominated by tall athletic players and being able to jump high offers serious advantages when it comes to attacking the rim and securing rebounds. No wonder that some of the best leapers of all time come from the NBA. In today's video, we are going to talk about the top 7 vertical jumps in the NBA history. If you don't want to miss a video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post new videos. Let's get started! Number 7 LeBron James, 44 inches. At 250 pounds, LeBron James stands tall at 6 foot 8 inches. His performance on the court is a perfect example of flexibility and mobility. Not far behind with the 44 inch vertical is LeBron James. He is one of the most athletic players of all time, but famously has never participated in the NBA dunk contest. Nevertheless, his vertical is good for some of the most amazing dunks in recent memory. Number 6. Shannon Brown, 44.5 inches Despite not being much more than a secondary bench player for the Los Angeles Lakers, Shannon Brown still had many memorable moments during his time with the Purple and Gold Brigade. He won two NBA titles alongside Kobe Bryant, whom he directly replaced when the Mamba went to the bench. His vertical leap has been recorded at 44.5 inches. At a height of 6 foot 4 inches, Shannon Brown has the ability to raise his head above the rim. And he showed that off with an in-game dunk against the Dallas Mavericks that had the likes of Bryant staring in amazement from the bench. Number 5. Zach Levine, 46 inches Zach Levine has given NBA fans some of the best dunking performances of the modern era. During a time when many people relied on props to elevate their dunks, Zach Levine brought the dunk contest back to the basics. This does not mean he steered clear of the gimmicks, but he let his dunks speak for themselves. His contest against Aaron Gordon was one of the greatest in NBA history. Levine, now with the Chicago Bulls, continues to throw the ball down with ease, but he's expanded his game in a way that's less dependent on his athleticism and made himself a complete basketball player. Number 4. Michael Jordan, 46 inches When your nickname is Air Jordan and your logo is the Jumpman, you better be able to prove it. Before Michael Jordan was known for his dominance in the 90s, his high-flying dunks were his main claim to fame. His dunk from the free throw line in the 1988 dunk contest wasn't the first nor last dunk of its kind, but it is the most iconic ever. Michael Jordan has shown an ability to get up high well into his 50s too, as videos of him practicing with his Charlotte Hornets occasionally comes out. Footage shows the aging superstar throwing down the ball like someone half his age. Number 3. Jason Richardson, 46.5 inches Jason Richardson was the face of the high flyers in the era after Vince Carter put on his legendary dunk clinic in 2000. While Carter is known for his legendary dunking, Jason has 3 inches on the NBA's Iron Man. His performances in the dunk contest still hold up to this day. Richardson was an integral part of the We Believe Warriors who swept the league nearly a decade before the current Golden State Warriors. 
Richardson's later career was marred with injuries that cost him the athleticism he had as a younger player. Number 2. Daryl Griffith, 48 inches Daryl Griffith may not be a name that sticks out to a modern audience, but his high-flying dunks made him a Utah Jazz favorite leading up to the John Stockton and Karl Malone era. Griffith also earned himself a Hall of Fame nickname in the form of Dr. Duncanstein. Griffith, a Rookie of the Year winner, showed promise before a foot injury took him down. Fans of the dunk contest may remember Jazz star Donovan Mitchell taking off his own jersey to reveal a Griffith jersey. The two maintain a bond off the court. Number 1. Wilt Chamberlain, 48 inches For a 7'1 giant to have a 48-inch vertical is borderline unfair. In a time where size was not as common as it is today, Wilt Chamberlain didn't necessarily need to have these heights to dominate. The fact that he could jump 4 feet in the air, however, was icing on the cake. Reflecting on a bygone era, people often claim that Chamberlain wouldn't be a dominant center in the modern era but his combination of height, skill, and athleticism would likely translate into any year he played. Hope you liked the video! Who was your personal favorite from the list? Let us know in the comments! If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so! See you in the next video!